Sacagawea. When I was just a little girl, I was taken from my tribe, the Shoshones. The reason I'm not with that enemy tribe anymore is because my future husband won me in a bet with the chief. Thomas Jefferson was president and he wanted, he didn't know what was on the south of us, so he sent two explorers and their men, um, Clark and Lewis. Clark, Clark and Lewis took salt, ink and paper to report and draw maps, food and water, and tools. But it was going to be a very hard journey because they didn't know how to get through the mountains. But they did know that there were some people over there that, pro that did know how to get through the mountains, and that was that what they were also hoping to find. So, they began on their journey. They took me and my husband, and we took our little boy, uh, Jean Baptiste Chabonneau, and um, my husband's name is... Uh, is Tuzant Charbonneau, and and we started a journey. On on the way to the journey, on our journey, we we traveled by boat, and we, Lewis and Clark had an idea to split up so we could search faster. So they, we split up. I went with Clark's group. So did my husband and my little boy, and we went the opposite way as they did. So Lewis was traveling and he just happened to find th uh, two women in the woods and a little girl and they took him, they sh he showed signs of peace and it was the Shoshone tribe. So <coughs> they found it and they had, they had the passage through the, through the mountains and they had horses which they needed to get through the mountains and other stuff that they would need, like water and some more food. So, but I, but Lewis or his men could not speak the Shoshone language, and the Shoshones couldn't speak the English language. So, and I was in Clark's group, and I could speak the Shoshone language, I was the only one in that group that could. So we so we had to meet up at some point and so we did. And when I got there, I I when I found out that they found my tribe, I was very excited because when I was taken by the enemy tribe from the Shoshone was well, I was only 11. So when we got there, I I found my best friend she was also taken by the enemy tribe, but she, but she escaped and got away, and she found her way home. So, so then, this is how you make so then I, um, we, I was, we, I caught up with her, and then we, um, then I was going to talk to the chief, so I could, um, so I could, so I could tell him or ask him if we could have some horses and if we if he could tell us how to get through the mountains. So we so we so th there was a meeting. There was a, just a few people. There was the chief, uh, two two of the Indi the Shoshone Indians, me, my husband, and Clark and Lewis. And so we all sat in a circle. But as soon as we got there, I I ran to. I ran to the chief and threw my arms around him. Nobody knew why, but really, it was it was because at the time the chief was my well, at the time my brother was chief. So I asked so I asked him for the passage through the mountains and a couple of horses, and he said yes. And so to make sure he was, we, we did the peace promise, which is we had to take off our shoes. And we and we and we passed around a, a pipe, and it was smoke. It was a smoking pipe. And so, if you had your shoes on while you made the peace promise, you'd have to be barefoot for the rest of your life.
So, so we got the horses, and they told us how to get to the mountains, and we, and we got to the mountains, and we finished our journey, and then we, so we, so now I felt like I had actually helped somebody, and that's all I really wanted to do all my life.